Oh, look at that. It's the sun. Yes, people, I, Everest, have ventured outside. That's Everest Jr. down there, my little garden helper. And today, we're planting potatoes. It's the beginning of March. Temperatures are just in the low 70s or about 20 degrees Celsius. But you just need to wait until any frosts are definitely done. I just got hold of this small plot, and as you can see, I've already pulled up any perennial grasses and weeds as I'm about ready to dig it over. I have no idea what's in this soil. I'm just going to break it up, add a little magic, dig some trenches, get the spuds in there, and cover them over again. No need to overthink this, people. So what's the magic ingredient? Well, it's called charge. And okay, it's not magic, but it's an amazing soil conditioner. This is premium grade insect frass or mealworm poop. Okay, specifically the larva of the Tenebrio molitor beetles after being fed organic carrots. Yes, that's right, organic carrots produce these tiny castings. Not only do these contain a well-balanced broad spectrum of fertility, but these tiny little poops are jam-packed full of beneficial microorganisms and plant growth catalysts. It actually helps to activate the plant immune response too, elevating defense against bacterial and fungal diseases as well. Now, I had to mail order this all the way from the UK. It's made by a company called EcoThrive, or EcoThrive, very nice guys, and it's Soil Association Certified. That's basically the gold standard for British organic growers. And as a result, this stuff is so darn popular, it isn't even funny. Indoor growers really dig this stuff too. You can mix it with your soil or coco coir based potting mixes and really boost your yield. You can get similar products in the US, just ask your local grow store about insect frass. Anyway, like I said, it's early spring and I just got a hold of this plot so I figured I need a quick boost of fertility. No time to add compost and manure over the winter. This is perfect for lazy last minute gardeners. I add charge at 3.5 ounces per 10 square feet or 100 grams. That's 2.5 scoops of poop per square meter. I like to sprinkle it over my plot as soon as I've dug it over so that when I hoe, <laughs> I'm blending and mixing it at the same time. And there you have it, one fully charged organic vegetable plot. Hoe it through, break up those big clumps of earth, <laughs> dig out some trenches. <sighs> They're about two feet apart. Now, I love salad potatoes. That's smaller new potatoes harvested earlier. If you prefer larger potatoes, go for a three-foot gap between rows. I bought these seeded potatoes at my local gardening store. I'm planting them at about a foot apart as, like I said, I prefer to harvest my spuds when they're smaller and steam them. Mmm, spuds. Charlotte and Maris Piper are great varieties for this, but I'm growing Artemis for my potato salads and Desiree for a great mash, a favorite staple of Everest Jr. The greatest thing about growing your own spuds is that there's a whole lot of energy stored up in that little seed potato. Before you know it, they're growing a canopy of leaves over the entire plot, helping to inhibit any competition from weeds. Easy as pie. I'll be harvesting my first crop in early June and will be munching homegrown spuds right through September. Some more organized Growers plant early, mid, and late varieties to ensure even longer cropping. But are they outside with a GoPro strapped to their head right now? No, that's how much I love you. Right, potatoes in position. Time to cover them up. No need to water them in. The soil is pretty moist. Just let them do their thing. Once the plants pop up, I'll take you through crop maintenance. Now, like I said, it's easy. Everyone should grow potatoes. I might recharge the plot in a few weeks or apply a liquid organic feed such as BioThrive by General Organics, depending on how the plants look. I'll probably get busy with some home-brewed compost tea, too, to really get the party going in the soil. That'll do for now. I'll leave you with some info on the best varieties of potato to plant for different uses. Please don't forget to subscribe. And don't worry, I'll be back safely indoors next time as per the conditions laid down by the judge. Yeah, see you again soon. Everest out. Ha! Quite literally. Quite <laughs> literally.